Good morning, babies. It is Tesh here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make hand-dipped beeswax candles. The first thing you're going to need is 100% natural beeswax. I get mine from Hobby Lobby. You're going to need a mason jar. I'm just pouring the beeswax into the mason jar. I'm going to fill my jar up with as much as I can because once it melts it goes down to about a half or maybe three quarters of the jar. Now I have another mason jar with ice water in it. So we have one with the beeswax, one with the ice water. I'm going to take the beeswax and put it in our pot of hot water. Grab your wick. I'm using beeswax. I prefer that if you're going to use a wick that you use beeswax like I'm doing, but if you only have soy or any other wicks, you're more than welcome to grab what you have. Now I've separated my wicks into four separate strings, which is going to make two candles per string because I folded them in half. We're just going to let our wax melt. You don't have to do this part, but I like to just to speed up the melting process. And five minutes later, here we are with our beautiful wax melt. Now you're going to take one of your strings, you want to dip it into your melted wax and then you're going to take it and dip it into your ice water and you're going to repeat this process and allow the wax to build up onto your wick and just go back and forth and you're going to notice the wax just continue to build over and over on your wick you might not want to do two at the same time like i'm doing Sometimes I do a little extra. Don't follow that. Stick with the one. A lot of times it'll get caught together and things like that. You don't want those problems. <laughs> it was working out for me today. Just put it that way. Now, the reason why we use beeswax in our candles is because beeswax is a wonderful purifier. It purifies the air, it purifies the soul, it removes negative energy from the room, it can exercise demons. It is a wonderful tool to use in your magic whenever you're trying to banish or get rid of anything. On the flip side, you can also use it to bring light to any situation. You can use it to get in contact with other realms. The Egyptians used it because it represented the sun. So that's the reason why the Egyptians used beeswax in their magic. It comes with a sense of community because it takes a community of bees to build their nest and to have their family. And it, it helps with your ancestors and accomplishing things as a group, especially when you are working with spirit guides and ancestors and things to that nature. It's also used in Christianity as the light to the soul, so on and so forth. Now, I love my candles to be small. I don't care for mine to be too big because I use mine for specific rituals that I like to only burn for about an hour to, an, to no more than two hours. So I'll leave mine small. This is perfectly how I make mine, but you can take your time and use a mold if you want to, or however you want to make your beeswax candles. I'm just showing you a very simple dipping method that takes time and patience. And this is what you can use when you're doing reversal spells, banishing spells, the ones that you hand dip. 
because you take that time, you're speaking the energy and the vibration that you want into each candle that you're making personally. Now I'm going to make a handful of these, but this is exactly what I want for my size. And I just clip that wick and there you have it. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, my loves.